Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 14 in the Lewis series where we're going to be covering P data, also known as player data, and networked values. So, before we even start with any of this, because this can be a confusing topic to some people, but we're not going to allow the confusion to hinder you, we're going to go into here, my game mode, game mode, and then we are going to create a new text file called player stats, something like that. Remember your dot. Loop. Okay, so I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna put this. Uh, put it right here. Uh, shift it over. Slide to slide. All good. So now we need to include it. So we're going to add CS Lua file. We're going to do player stats just like this, and then we are going to include it in the server side right here with player stats. All right. So simple enough, right? Now we're done. Now you can leave the tutorial. Uh, just kidding. So let's get here the local player, and we're going to do that with find meta table as we have been doing in previous tutorials, and we're going to get the player. All right, got the player. It's good. Now the next thing we want to do is to consider the order of events, things that are occurring. So we're trying to save data to the server, and we're also trying to load data from the server, right? So the first thing that happens is a player connects to the server, right? So we're going to be using a function, which is custom. There's no library function called stat save. That's our function. So this is going to be, or actually, you know what? Let's do loading first. Let's do load. So when the player first joins the server, this is going to be called. So we want to do a check. Is I mean, does the player even have any player data yet? So we're going to say get p data, and the identifier here is the name of the type of player data we're getting. So let's say we want to get the player's level. So we're making like a level system or something. Woohoo! RPG time. Anyway, so if it's nil, which means if it does not exist, then we need to set the player's data for them. So we're going to start them off at level one so we're going to set instead of getting now we are setting player data and the identifier here is level and we are going to set that with the second argument to zero which is going to be the initial level of the player when they join the server for the first time all right so now we then have another realm of events because we just dealt with the two player data commands now we're dealing with network values right so the difference between pdata and networking values is pdata cannot be networked. And if you recall what networking means from tutorial 11 in this series, it's the communication from the server to the client and the client back to the server because the clients can't directly communicate with each other. So they need that server as the middleman between their communication. So we're going to have to use networking to communicate values from the server to the client and vice versa. So anyway, let's do that with self and we're going to set n w int now network values can have multiple things other than int they can also be boolean they can be entity and very important for integers you cannot put a floating value here so if you want to use a floating value you have to use float okay so we're going to do an identifier for the first argument which is level since we're dealing with level right here right here all level and we are setting the initial level for the player the network value while they're on the server to zero. So I hope that makes sense. Kind of overemphasizing here intentionally so you get it because this is kind of confusing if you don't have someone who knows what they're talking about. So here we go. So we're going to do the same thing else. So let's say that the player's P data already exists. Then we're going to go to this case right here. So we're going to set the level to the data that already exists. So we're going to be getting this p data right here and assigning it to a network integer. All right. So let's say the player joins for the first time. Their level is set to zero. They disconnect. Well, nothing's going to happen because we need a function that saves the data as well. So we need stats save, right? So to do that, very simple. You'll just say set p data and we're setting the level because that's all we've been dealing with so far to self get now this is the only time we're getting 
the NW value. We're setting here, but when we're saving, we need a git. So git NW int, and which uh, NW enter we're trying to get? We're trying to get level. Okay, so now we have the method to save. So now the player leaves the server after coming in and getting their level set to zero. Now they come in for a second time, this function gets called again, but now it's going to skip this and execute this and set it to zero with this function, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So let's save that. And now let's implement it into the init.lua. So because we included the player stats file or right here, yes, now we can call these functions inside init.lua, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go to function, we're going to say gm init or player initial spawn because you don't want to do it every time the player spawns you only want to load their stats once otherwise it gets really aggravating bad things can happen so we're going to say player and then we're going to call stats load just like that and when the player disconnects oh, I left the space just for this occasion how nice of me huh stats save when they disconnect okay so simple enough stats load Stats load, stats save, and stats save. All right, so on top of this, when they initially spawn, I'm going to set the NW int right here. Let's just say we're going to set it to the current level. So we'll say current level plus one. So every time they join, they're going to gain a level. And we're going to print that level to here, right? So instead of self, also remember player, because we cannot call self in init.lua like that. So there's no metadata. All right. So now let's go in game, and we're going to see what happens. All right, so we are now in game. And if you see in the user console, since I've actually done this multiple times, um, I want you to take note. I rejoined the server two times. So if you look, let's see, I'm going to try to put this at the bottom right here. You see 14 at the last line right here. Um, that's my last join. In. And then we have 15 right on the second to last line at the bottom right here. So that's when I rejoined. So that's printing my level to the council with this command. And as you can see, it's incrementing like this. And the reason it's 14 is because I previously used this on the server before and set the level to uh, four, um, 13, I believe it was, before testing this out. So that's essentially what's happening. So I'm leaving the server. I'm coming back. If I join again real quick while we're waiting, I'll um, go into that. So if I join again, again, it's going to call this function and I just disconnected so it's saved and now I go back into server and let's go in the console and we'll see now it says 16 so as you can see it's incrementing just fine um, now we're going to be getting into a little bit more detail here on the next video because we're going to be going over experience as well so until then if you have any questions let me know and I will see you guys next time